Call with the On Your Side forecast. Well, the dog days of summer definitely here, and today was another hot one, although we did not quite hit the triple digits in Boise. 99 was our afternoon high today. The normal, once again, 93 degrees. This is the hottest time of the year, and 93 uh, has been the high temperature, the normal high temperature for about a week now. Eventually, this will cool. The record for this date is 110 degrees set way back in 1961, before I was even born. It's the second hottest temperature ever recorded at the Boise Airport. 85 is the temperature now in Boise. We see 76 in McCall, pleasant evening in the mountains, down to 63 in Stanley, and it's always a little colder up there. It'll be a chilly start again tomorrow morning with lows down into the low 40s. Not so here in Boise. We'll get down into the 60s, but by 8 a.m. we're already at 71 degrees, warming into the upper 80s by noon, into the 90s by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and there's our forecast high of 101 degrees tomorrow. That is also our forecast high for Tuesday. Wednesday, 99, 100 degrees right in the that same range and then temperatures really start to drop as an area of low pressure comes in from the Pacific and that'll really change our weather cooling things down to afternoon highs in the low 80s so nearly a 20 degree drop from tomorrow to next Sunday but again a hot one today 102 degrees this afternoon in Ontario, McCall up to 93 degrees, Stanley up to 87 degrees. Uh, 87 sounds pretty pleasant, but that's pretty hot for Stanley. And we did have some thunderstorms, still a few lightning strikes in eastern Idaho, and we still have a few lightning strikes uh, over here in eastern Oregon as well, but this should tend to die down as we go through the night as temperatures cool. That hot air still coming up out of the desert southwest, and the monsoonal flow of moisture still coming into the picture. That was the reason for the thunderstorms developing today. If you look to the south here, you'll notice it's relatively dry, so only a slight chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. We expect another surge of moisture to come in on Tuesday, and that will lead to the possibility of thunderstorms once again on Tuesday. Our future cast showing some clouds popping up to the north and east of Stanley and Sun Valley tomorrow afternoon. Not much happening here in the Treasure Valley, but some clouds coming in later in the evening, overnight, and we could see a thunderstorm early in the morning and then this is Tuesday afternoon around 430. That possibility of thunderstorms uh, north of McCall and again in the same, re same region uh, northeast of Stanley and Sun Valley. So that's where the highest likelihood of those thunderstorms will be and a higher likelihood on Tuesday than there will be tomorrow. But the possibility is still there tomorrow. It's just a slight possibility. Afternoon highs here in the valley hitting the triple digits. 68 the low in Boise. 101 degrees our forecast high for tomorrow. In the West Central Mountains, another warm day uh, with that possibility of isolated thunderstorms. You'll have plenty of sunshine for the better part of the day. 90 degrees in McCall, so almost as hot as today, but not quite getting there. 88 for the afternoon high in Stanley after a morning low of 45 degrees. Mostly sunny, but again, that possibility of thunderstorms, especially to the north and east of Stanley and Sun Valley. 97 in Shoshone tomorrow, 98 in Twin Falls with plenty of sunshine, a slight possibility of thunderstorms developing into the mountains to your south there. There is the 101 for tomorrow and Tuesday, 100 on Wednesday Day and then that cool down coming our way, especially over the weekend. A week from today, we're expecting an afternoon high of just 83 mm, degrees. Nice, that will nice be pleasant. Cool yeah. <laughs> And then it, I saw on Thursday, it's just a little bit cooler. Yeah, that's the beginning of the cool down, if okay. you can call it that, but it's still 90, so I don't know if you can call it cool. <laughs> okay, a little bit cooler maybe for a race. And uh, Firebird Raceway will actually light up the night next Thursday. 